The education ministry is responding to the impact of Taiwan's low birth rate by ordering universities and colleges to cut enrollments. And starting next year, nearly 10,000 places will be eliminated. An even prestigious National Taiwan University, believed to be the nation's best, will not be exempt, with plans for the first time to cut around 17 places. Students from the Asia Pacific Institute of Creativity in Miaoli make a promotional film to celebrate the opening of a new university department devoted to tea and its applications. Next year, less than a year after its opening, the department will stop accepting students. The Education Ministry's Department of Technical and Vocational Education says that altogether 9,840 enrolments will be reduced next year for tertiary institutions, with 143 university departments told to accept new enrolments and another 56 departments abolished altogether. The only top university on the list was National Taiwan University, as it had been found to have mismanaged alternative entry channels for accepting students and was thus ordered to cut 17 places. Because we accepted a pretty good student from a poor family through our university admissions channel for disadvantaged students and did not communicate this effectively with the education ministry in advance, they decided to cut our enrollments by 17. However, many academics running university departments are worried that with the increasing trend of fewer children and with even NTU not exempt, closures of private schools will become a regular event in the future. We are facing a very cruel reality that numbers of students will decrease by 10,000 each year. If we make estimates using average student enrollment numbers of 2,000 students per university, many schools and colleges in the future will not be able to find enough students. The Education Ministry also argues that local communities should invest their resources in helping universities and college with the transition to lessen the impact.